welcome to Scotland Prayer Live. We are here at PowerPoint in Glasgow. Woo! However, it's all a little bit exciting. Mark, can we have some alpha lights, please? Much better, thank you. Um, so, yeah, guys, it's great to be here. Um, it is just super exciting. If you don't know about PowerPoint, PowerPoint is somewhere where about 2,000 young people come across Scotland together um, at different events, one in Glasgow, um, which is the best, um, then Edinburgh, mm, and Aberdeen, which is new and super exciting. Um, so it's super nice to be here. Um, and I am joined by the wonderful Dan Martin. Say hi, Hello. Dan. Hi, Dan. Again. 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 The same joke. Can, um, can Dan, you, you were with us last night, obviously, but you've been out on this crazy tour with us. I but have. More importantly, what is it you actually do for a real job? A real job. Uh, I am a youth worker for Southside Christian Fellowship down in the air. Big up for Southside? If, if you class that as a real job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody appreciated no, that, Dan. No, no. No. So, no. Um, but this, this is one of the things that you bring your young people to. So you bring your young people to PowerPoint. Why do you bring them here? Um, so we come along uh, to really join with, as you've said, loads of other young folk. It's a great opportunity to have some uh, have some lively worship and some great teaching. And, and our kids just love like coming into like the big city and seeing like so many more people gather together to worship. That's amazing. And um, what do you like? So what would be like the real benefit of that? Like you know, because um, obviously you guys, if there's a few youth groups in there, you could yeah. obviously do your own thing. Yeah. So we come, uh, so actually we come with a couple other youth groups, so uh, we come along with uh, three other churches, okay. we all kind of convoy together, we have a meal on the way up um, at a fast food chain. Um, possibly with golden arches? Possibly, but others are available. Are um, available. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, so yeah, we come together and it's just a great time to like grow together and really enjoy each other's company and also we then like... Car journeys, man. Car journey on the way home, great chance to chat. What did God do tonight? Chat through that. And actually, we kind of like disciple and grow through that journey as well. So Amazing. it's cool. Yeah, that's so good. That Love it. Good. Um, Dan, like, give us a story. Give, can you give us an example of like why something like this is yeah, good? Yeah, definitely. Because I think some people just think that youth workers really enjoy the stress of taking their young people on an adventure to PowerPoint. Yeah. Lots of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, a uh, story. Yeah, so we, um, our young folk uh, now love prayer, but in the past, not so keen on it. Um, we used to do that thing where any time we had to say grace, um, no one would want to. I'd be like, oh, no one wants to thank Jesus for their food. Good. Okay. And that was always awkward. But we did uh, Soul Survivor in summer, and there's like always response times and prayer ministry and stuff like that. And our young folk this year um, just really clocked onto that. And this was the first time that they didn't just stand around and watch. They actually got involved and they went and prayed for people. And it ended up that any time that people would go forward for mm. prayer, straight away they'd get up. And I thought, oh, they're all responding. But actually they were just going to pray for others, just like that. And it was amazing to see that. It's amazing. brilliant. Amazing. Dan, um, you are, um, yeah, you're a good guy. You're Thanks. a great youth leader. Um, it really hurts me having to say nice things to you, to be honest. Um, but... Um, we would just love to go into a time of prayer for youth leaders across Scotland now. And can I just ask that you kickstart that prayer for us? And then we're going to put a slide up on the screen. You can spend a couple of minutes just praying at home. Let's pray. Father God, I just thank you for um, all the different youth leaders across Scotland, whether they are um, employed or voluntary. I just thank you for um, the so many different young people that they have um, some form of impact over. And I just pray for strength and protection that, they that you would guard their hearts and that um, that they would bring out the best in young people to see young folk um, enter into flourishing relationships with you, God. Amen.
guys. I really hope you enjoyed your prayer time there. Um, I am now joined by three teenagers, um, which is probably the best way to describe you three. Would you say that's fair? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Troublesome teenagers would be a lot better. Um, but you three guys um, were involved in this thing that we did called uh, Alpha Youth Pioneer. Um, like, what is it about, really? So, Daniel, tell us, like, how did you even end up coming here to this place to a pioneer night? Yeah, so our youth pastor, Mark, invited us along to this event. And we, as a group, you know, decided to come along. And we'd actually been thinking our house group that we go to. Um, throughout probably the last year you know we wanted to do an event where we brought along our non-christian friends and um, for them to come along and just you know get to meet jesus even for the first time and even if it was you know just at one time at least we got to do it for them and when mark brought us along here you know we were like this is the thing that we're going to do because this is going to be the way that we introduce them to jesus cool absolutely awesome um sally so like what what actually happened here what was the thing that actually helped you to get there Oh, so we came along to the Pioneer course, which we um, came and we got ideas on how we can set up our own alpha and how can we like personalise it to make it what we want it to look like and how we can run it ourselves instead of having someone else run it for us. So it's quite cool. That is quite cool. And you also got some awesome memory cards. I think I have one here, just in case you didn't get one. An eight gig memory stick, look at that. So proud of myself. I found these online, by the way. Um, uh, so... Holly, tell us, what is your alpha going to look like? Because you guys are running it as a house group, is that right? Yeah. 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 So basically, we're just going to uh, go to a youth pastor's house and he's going to like, kind of leave and let like our house group... <laughs> is that an important <laughs> thing, that he leaves? Yeah, 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 yeah okay. um, And he's just going to go and let us run it to our friends. So like, our main, like, our focus was to invite our pals along um, to let, like, to show them that it isn't like church, uh -huh. isn't what they think it is, because they... Like, everyone has different ideas of what it is. So we thought we'd invite them along, watch the video, have a bit of chat about it, and then um, just chill and, like, have food and just talk about what they've just watched and be a nice atmosphere to people, for people to come to. That's amazing. So there's actually 115 pioneers across Scotland, 115 young people like yourselves who've signed up to say, we're going to take a step of faith and we're going to run our own alphas. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. You could try and look a bit more enthused for that. Yeah. <laughs> you know I, mean? I put in a lot of work. I sent a lot of letters for that. And what I'd love to do is um, we have somebody special who is just going to come and pray for you. Um, would it be possible that they could come and pray for you just now? I don't know if you'll recognise this guy, but this is Mike Pilavacci from Soul Survivor. I don't know that I'm special. I think you guys are. <laughs> but I'll pray. Mike, if you just pray for these guys, but actually as a representative of the pioneers across Scotland and then we're just going to go into a couple of minutes uh, for people to pray at home. All right. Amazing. Okay. Let's just pray for you guys. And Lord Jesus, we pray uh, for these three, but also for all 115 young people who are going to step out and take a risk for the sake of the gospel uh, and who are going to begin uh, Alpha uh, to lead and to uh, invite people. Uh, we pray that you would breathe your life on this. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you would give them uh, grace and uh, uh, discernment and, and, Lord, just a, a stickability to keep going. I thank you for them. I thank you, Lord, that they want to serve you. I thank you, Lord, that they, they long to see people come to know you. And, Lord, I just pray that you bless every single one of them and through them, that many, many others would be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen.
guys, so great to have you back here. I am joined this time by Laura. She's finally <laughs> came in from the outside. Um, and we are going to show one of your videos now, aren't we, Laura? Yep. How much fun was it making them? So much fun. So much fun. I loved it. Yeah. We had a couple of 4.30 a.m. starts. Oh. Not cool. Oh. Not cool. Oh. Um, guys, we're kind of run out of time here, but we're just going to show you Laura's video and invite you to pray for us at home. I am literally away to start DJing because we're away to open the doors here. And can I just ask that you guys across Scotland just be praying for PowerPoint tonight. We want to see more young people. We want to see more people coming to faith. And uh, anything else we want, Laura? A good time. A good time. Yeah. So uh, if we could have that, that would be great. Here's Laura's video, guys. Thanks so much. We'll see you tomorrow in Kilmarnock. Yay! <laughs> Churches across Scotland were asked to pray and tell their friends about the meeting here in 1955. Christians across Scotland came together in a show of unity to support the meeting. They did just that. Thousands upon thousands of people prayed and began inviting their friends to come and hear about Jesus. 15,000 people enter Kelvin Hall in Glasgow for the first meeting of Billy Graham's All Scotland Crusade. Hundreds have waited as long as four hours in rain and snow to hear the message of the young American evangelist Thousands more gathered in halls and churches to watch the meetings on television. They were a vast and unseen audience, second only to the coronation. For a long time, we have been looking forward with keen anticipation to this moment. Millions of prayers have gone to the throne of grace that God might send a spiritual awakening to Scotland and make an impact on the entire world. 470 people declare themselves for Christ during the meeting. The largest number ever to do so at the opening night of a Billy Graham campaign. With an untold number responding in halls and churches across Scotland, many of them being young people, thousands of people came to faith. This move of God was rooted in prayer and unity and hope for our country. Let me just pray for the young people of Scotland. Father, we just left the young people before you in Scotland and we just ask that they would be empowered by your love and built up in your name. Amen.